Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another video where I put together a bullet journal for your viewing pleasure. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff, uh, a lot of paper bits, I promise there's a use for all of them, and watercolors, because even though I'm bad at art, I wanted to try anyway, so yeah, um, they're cheap. They're like $10 from Target. They're actually, it's not a bad deal. They're like from the kids section. You get 36 colors and a little like ream of watercolor paper that you can kind of see over by the washcloth. And I cut some of that up and used it and it's really nice paper. I mean, I don't know anything about art supplies, but it seems really nice. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, despite the fact that I'm really bad at watercolors, the paints are cool. <laughs> um, I tried and failed to do like the moon with like a pretty fall themed background, but the moon came out looking like either a messed up basketball or a deflated black beach ball. So yeah, it looks really bad, but you can just ignore that if you wouldn't mind. Thanks in advance. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wish I could say that I was in a better place than I was in my September plan with me. If you watched that one, you know that I was going through a lot of things, although as opposed to last video where I almost cried while doing the voiceover, this time I'm totally numb, so I guess that's an improvement, question mark? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, yeah, September wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. School is really kicking my rear end. My final semester of college is supposed to be easy. I set myself up for it to be easy, and it's really not easy. And I don't know, it's making me really excited to graduate in a way that I wasn't before, so I'm just ready to be done with arbitrary assignments and I don't know I don't know it's it's really complicated and I'm really burnt out on everything right now and I can't really afford to be burnt out in this economy so you know here I am also I should tell you that the lighting right now is only coming from my window which is pretty cool even though it's not coming from all sides the window is to the left of me but I wanted to just do it that way because I wanted that ambiance because it was such a nice day out. Um, it was like 65 and breezy with sun coming through the trees by my window. And that's my favorite kind of weather. Ideally it'd be like 55 or 60, but 65 is acceptable. I don't know, it's just really nice. And so I left my windows open when I filmed this and I was watching some YouTube videos. Um, I've really been into studio vlogs lately, like watching like Furry Little Peach and Minnie Smalls and uh, Lee Allison, I think you pronounced her name. So I was watching some of those and working and I don't know, it, it's pretty cool. I love watching people make things with their hands and then get paid for them. I'm still making tiny poetry books, handmade ones, with my own poems and then if you'd like to buy one, uh, the link's gonna be in the description because I'm really proud of them. Even if you don't want to buy one, if you just want to look at it, that'd be really cool too, just because I'm really proud of it and I would like to share it with you, even if you don't buy it. Just like, look at the thing and celebrate the thing, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's about all that's been going on. Um, hmm. Yeah, ever since I posted the, um, my health story video, things have gotten pretty bad mentally, um, <laughs> to the point where I seem to develop this, this second voice in my head, not in a literal, you know, um, schizophrenia sense, but in, in a, in a subconscious, angry thing way. There's like this gremlin, the brain goblin, I call it to my friend Liz, um, that lives in my head and it insults me and it tells me horrible, mean things, um, and there was a comic that I saw on Tumblr of a pigeon who was being complimented on things and the pigeon was like, oh, am I good at things? Maybe even talented? And then the final panel was like the loud, angry text coming from above saying, no, you're horrible and and you're a piece of you know what and, ever, anything, and anything anyone ever tells you is a lie. And the pigeon was going, you're right, brain. Okay, I'm sorry. Thank you. And that's me. So me, it's painful. So that called me out a little bit. Um, oh, I wanted to do a collage style thing this month. Instead of doing my traditional monthly spread, because I wasn't really using it in um, 
in September and plus I'm gonna run out of pages in this bullet journal before December <laughs> if I keep this up so um, I just wanted to do like you know my watercolor on one page and then the other side of the page a little mini calendar that I drew out on brown paper from Muji and then uh, right like uh, under that coming up tab I wanted to just write you know things coming up in, in bullet points because I don't really use it to track due dates because everything that I have in all my classes are due like on weekly bases so it's the same thing every time I don't have big projects or anything but um, for like little things like appointments it's not worth taking up a whole page on a monthly spread I might as well just do like a little list and combine that with my opening spread so that's what I did and I got those print pictures off of Unsplash which is a free licensing photo website, unsplash.com. I'll link it down below. It's not sponsored, but it's super cool because the images are so aesthetic and we heart it-esque, but they're totally free for creative, commercial, personal use, so it's really awesome, and the photographers are really great. So I printed them out on my Canon IV printer. Again, not sponsored, but it's an awesome little thing, and it makes these really cute, like, three and a half by four and a half, I think, adhesive-backed prints. So I just put those there for some autumnal aesthetic and then put my beach ball <laughs> there with some of that um the sticky squares from um, target they're like little scrapbooking squares you use to fi affix pictures i probably should have used tape on this but i wasn't sure because i'm really bad at taping things down anyway so you know we just kind of went for it we love a risk. Just kidding, I actually hate taking risks. But anyway, um, yeah, mental health wise, not doing so hot. What else is new? I thought it was just because I got sick, which is why my voice sounds horrible, by the way. I apologize for that. I also thought that it was because I was gonna get my period, but both of those came and went, or kinda went, I'm still kinda sick, but, um, and I still, I still feel this way. Although now I've progressed from raging self-hatred and the brain goblin telling me all sorts of horrible things to now I just feel totally numb, which I guess is an improvement, but it's also kind of scary because feeling numb is never, never the way to be. But I'd rather feel nothing than feel what I was feeling previously, so I guess it's okay. But I have two wonderful friends that have talked to me and helped me through this and stuff, and I'm really grateful for them. But I also feel guilty every time I talk to them because it's like, you know, they could be having a really great day and then I'm ruining it with my own problems. And they've both told me, like, that doesn't matter to me, I want you to come to me, and so I do. That's hard. But this is a little page for those aforementioned photos for me to uh, take some, at least four every month of a memory or a thing I did or something, and paste them there. My little Canon IV prints mostly to force myself to, like, do fun things um, and things I like and save the memories. Because, like, I went to a renaissance fair uh, back in September and um, didn't take a single picture. I was so anxious the whole time. I was like, you know, I had rules set for myself before, like, you're not allowed, don't eat in front of anyone, don't talk, don't, you know, don't complain, don't do it, like, you know, whatever. Just really psychotic rules looking back. But I didn't, I didn't enjoy myself as much as I wish I would have. I didn't take pictures. I didn't cherish the memories. And I wish I would have. So uh, I'm challenging myself to take those pictures next month. Do things to take those pictures and have them, you know? I don't know. I don't even know if that makes sense, but yeah. And then this is a sleep tracker I'm doing because I have a sleep cycle app that I use. And it tracks my sleep percentage, like how quality my sleep was out of 100%. Usually it's like... Um, Usually it's like in the, the 60s or the 50s, uh, so I want to track my sleep. So I have my the day, you know, 1 through 30, 31 on the bottom, and then I have percentages on the side. They're in 5% um, percent increments, starting at 10%, because if I ever have 5% sleep, I think I should probably be hospitalized or something. Uh, so I'm going to just chart it with like a line graph and see what happens, because my sleep has been so bad lately since school started. And I'm the kind of person who my brain chemicals are definitely affected by sleep, or my lack thereof. So it's important that I get some sleep. And then for my weekly spreads, I've actually been doing this since the middle of September. I have one page for every day, and I have it segmented into work, school, and other to-dos. So if I have things on for work, it goes there, school, work goes there, and then if I have like an appointment or a random errand to run or like library books do, then I just do it there. So that was been my spread layout thing. Probably also why I'm going to need a new bullet journal before December because I'm using a page per week, but I literally use up the whole thing. There's such a 
an influx of things I have to do every week that this is literally how it is. The only reason I can justify to myself doing this video is because I got all my work done for today and it's like literally 11 o'clock at night and I feel as if I'm gonna do any more work my brain's gonna turn to mush. So I just kind of had to keep going and do something fun and I hate doing fun things when I have work to do because I feel really selfish and self-indulgent but uh, you know, your girls gotta do what your girls gotta do, and this is the only fun I will have for the rest of the month, I promise. <laughs> Actually, no, probably not. I have some time, maybe, to do fun things, and I like editing videos, so I will try to indulge myself a little more, but... Yeah, speaking of fun things and videos, um, I have a thing happening on the first weekend of October that I can't talk about um, what it's about yet. But it's one of those things where like, it's gonna happen and then on, like, I'm going away for this thing and I know that on the way home, I'm either going to be like coming home triumphant or coming home really heartbroken. Uh, either way, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. And uh, yeah, I wish I could talk about it because I'm really nervous, but I can't talk about it yet. So, uh, but if it all goes the way I want it to go, um, I will, have a video because I've been filming little clips pertaining to this just in case it turns out the way I want it to. Uh, so if that's the case then I'll make a video but otherwise uh, yeah. So that's that's me. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope you guys are doing better than I am. I'd love to make some week in my life vlogs again. I'm editing one from like literally the beginning of September but we'll see. Anyway here's my spreads. Um, I hope you guys are, are doing okay. I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. I hope that things are going well. If you're in school, I hope you're doing everything you can to stay afloat academically, emotionally, mentally. Please do better than I am. <laughs> I love you guys, and I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.